Hello dudes, it's Real Honest and here back with another Windcraft quest guide. Today we are taking a look at Beneath the Depths. It's a combat level minimum of 60, it's a medium length quest so do prepare for that. You might need some potions for this one. Talk to Javier in the Pirate Cove at those, coordin <clears throat> at those coordinates. We're gonna start off by right clicking to track it. We're starting at the uh, cell chart docks here. So if you're not in Saltar, just take a sea skipper to Saltar from Nemrak or any other place. Basically, we uh, we are going to go to the Pirate Cove with the sea skipper. But before we do that, for this quest, we're going to use two Saltar scrolls, one Nemrak scroll, and six emerald blocks spread into a five and a, a singular because we're going to use them at different occasion, uh, occasions. But anyways, uh, let's take a sea skipper to pirate cove so pirate cove is right here so let's that oh yeah you also need emeralds for the tickets that i should mention as well Okay, here we are. We are at the Pirate Cove, so now we're gonna enter to uh, talk to Javier. See the quest tracker right here? So we're gonna enter the Pirate Cove and we're gonna go up these stairs here to the sort of second level. Go to the right and he is right here. Ah, you look like a mighty fine adventure lad, but perhaps your pockets are a little lighter than you want, eh? Perhaps we be making a deal, lad, and it's uh, it will make us both rich. You see, lad, me treasure has been lost for quite some time. I kept it in an ocean village named Sarnfic in a secret room. Ah, but lad, the village vanished out of nowhere, like some kind of dark magic, I swear to you. Tell no lies. You see, in me old age, I could use a spot of me lawful gold to see me through my final years. Don't fret though, Chuck. Old Javier always kept a backup plan. I left me old seafaring map in me old hideout. It will tell you where we can find me gold. So lad, are you willing to make yourself mighty wealthy? Good. Me old hideout's hidden inside that skull uh, at the entrance of our mighty fine establishment. Bring me that map, lad, and ship quick to start the quest. Now we need to have one emerald block ready in our inventory because we're going to rush uh, through this sort of uh, labyrinth to uh, not get killed by mobs but yeah so we're gonna go back to the docks here and we can see this huge skull we walk up the stairs whoops that was we walk up the stairs and we enter be ready with your block because we're gonna go through here basically follow the path until we get to a big room that has several has to choose from which is right here now we're gonna go straight ahead here and then take a left walk through this hallway basically and then we get to this big room with this pirate captain who talks to us but skip that just drop an emerald block on that carpet and then go to the back here where this door just open here we just walk up this broken staircase and right here where we get back onto the path here. Wait for the wall to fall down and open up. Because otherwise you're just going to be back in the first labyrinth we were at. But anyways, we go up these stairs here. Walk slowly, that floor will fall down. We don't want to fall down into it because we're going to have to do that over again. So just sneak past it. And then we continue. There's some like fire spots here. Don't worry about that. And now we get to this room. This room has like cannon. A cannon shooting uh, so you gotta dodge it shift click underneath here if you get hit um, out you just get teleported to the back it may take a few tries I tried this uh, earlier it took me a bit of a while oh I need to be fully down there Let's see 
Hello. And there we are, and then we drop down. Once we get to the cannon, and then we just run through the hallway here. To be ready for a bit of a fight. Oh wait, never mind, it's just the map. Um, now we take this faded map, head through the teleport, and we exit and go back to Javier. Let's talk to him. Ah, you're talented, aren't you, lad? Many thanks indeed. Now we can see where the treasure me buried. Oh, I blasted. I can't read my own darn map. What do you do with it? Scratch off the ink with your pennies? Ah, sorry, lad. It be the test of time, the failed old Javier, not you. Fair not, lad. There's an old friend of Javier's that can help decipher this old rank. Go to the old mage island. Uh, there be a man by the name of Dalbin who can restore me map into its former glory. Get it done, lad, and bring me my treasure back. So now we have this faded map. This is where the Nimrak scroll comes to use because we're going to take that. And then we're going to go to the Nimrak Sea Skipper to take a boat pass over to the Mage Island. Why we're doing this is that we uh, Salchar does not have a boat pass to Mage Island, so instead of having to go Salchar or with the Sea Skipper uh, or Nemrank with the Sea Skipper, we can just teleport. Let's see if we can find there's Mage Island, so let's go to Mage Island. And for this part, we also need five emerald blocks. Okay, Mage Island, here we are. Now let's go talk to Dalbin, who is right over here. So let's talk to him. What is this, a traveler? Whom? How might we assist you? Ah, I see you wish to explore the ocean steps, but what possible reason? This map, how did you acquire it? This is enchanted by our people. You seek Sarnfic, don't you? Alas, that place has history. We, the Mage Council... Council banished that city long ago to hide the horrific power hidden within a treasure a pirate hid there. A pair of boots made from a black material fashioned from the stone of an evil place incredibly dark magic. But we do not believe the, the filthy idiotic pirate uh, knew what he had found. I must say, we the council regret having to lay waste an entire village over a pair of boots. There was no other way. Who knows why he even kept the boots if he had known about their power? I'm sure he would have used it for evil but we sense no evil in you so as such we will aid you in your quest we hope that you will use the boots for good despite the dark intentions we will lift the enchantments once laying upon the church but it will cost you give me five emerald blocks that should cover it so let's talk to him again brilliant that seems in order here you go only hope that the boots will never fall into the hands of that pirate again we'd much rather they fall into yours well, what does it say? Go to that location, find the treasure. So now we have the disenchanted map here. We can see the cor uh, coordinates, but we're going to take a Salchar scroll. Yep. So once we're in Salchar at the top here, we're going to go to the bank. We're sort of in the bank's direction. We can also see the quest tracker in the distance here. But basically, we are going to go in a northwestern direction almost. Um, from Salchar, and the bank is sort of the most northwestern island. So let's start swimming. And here we are. You can use the quest tracker or you can just look for a little hole in the water in the sort of northwestern direction. 
the coordinates are also on the disenchanted map. So once we're in this large cave here, we're going to go to the left here. And there's a bit of fighting because we need to find fight a boss to get uh, the treasure. So we can dodge all the other mobs to the best of all our abilities. So we're going to run through the cave here. Let's see, I keep running out of sprint, but... And then we get to this intersection here. We're gonna keep to the right. And once we're in this big room here, we go up a large set of stairs and follow the path here. And here to the left, we have this big room. Now, be wary of the lava. The best sort of tactic is to uh, fight the boss, the dude in golden or diamond armor, I mean. Sort of using the pillars as a uh, sort of wall of protection here, like that. He will try to push you, so be very careful. Bring potions. But basically that is the easiest way to do it. If he dies in lava or something, or the drop falls into lava, just slash class and wait for him to respawn. There we are. Once you've killed him, we get this ocean treasure. And to not have to go all the way back, we use the last cell charge scroll to make things easier. We don't have to swim through the ocean. And now we can just take a sea skipper to Pirate Cove. Okay, we're back at the Pirate Cove. Let's talk to Javier. Here we are. Let's give him the treasure. Ah, you did it, lad. You brought back old Javier's gold. And as promised, here's your share of the loot. I threw in something extra for you. It's an old key I salvaged a few years back from the shipwreck of a legendary pirate. Who knows what it leads to, maybe a treasure hoard, or maybe the old swashbuckler wanted to lead someone into a trap. The bones are too old for a grand adventure like that. Guess you'll have to figure it out for yourself. And there we go, quest completed beneath the depths. Uh, let's see, 185,000 experience points, one emerald, one abyssal galoshes, and one galleon's graveyard key, and whoops, sorry for that. So we get the boots, we get one emerald, and we get one galleon's graveyard key. And there we are. That's it for this quest guide. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.